Well, I'm a pulmonologist and I've been on the Mayo Clinic staff since 1992 after having done internal medicine residency and pulmonary fellowship here at this institution. My special clinical interest as well as uh, research interests focus on uh, anchor-associated vasculitides, which uh, very often affect the respiratory tract, in particular the lungs, but also very often the kidneys, and they can affect other organs. Well, vasculitis is not a single condition. Vasculitis strictly means inflammation of blood vessels, and as such, uh, blood vessels in all organs of the body can, can be affected. And the various forms of vasculitis are cl classified and grouped, largely dependent on the size of the vessels that are predominantly affected. Now, since there are vessels in all parts of the body, Patients can come with a wide spectrum of symptoms uh, leading to the question about whether the symptoms can be caused by vasculitis. And accordingly, uh, once a vasculitis has been diagnosed, usually patients require a multidisciplinary approach uh, from uh, physicians from various specialties to address all the specific patient's problems. Their first contact point is usually uh, determined by their predominant or most important uh, symptom or organ system involved. So if patients have predominantly joint symptoms as a result of their vasculitis, they would start with our colleagues in rheumatology. If, uh, for instance, they have cough and are coughing up blood or are short of breath as a result of the vasculitis affecting the lungs, they would start out with us in pulmonary. The vasculitides are generally grouped amongst the diseases called autoimmune diseases. Okay. And what that means is that the immune system essentially overreacts to an initial cause which we cannot identify at the present time. And, and most of the symptoms are caused by uh, inflammation that is uh, induced by the immune system overreacting and damaging the patient's own, own body systems. The uh, importance uh, for patients with this disorder is a rapid diagnosis. Uh, why is this important? Because it is important because if the disease goes on for too long and being unrecognized, then there is a lot of irreversible damage to the affected organs uh, that even if the disease is put into remission, is still causing a lot of trouble uh, for the patient down the road. So therefore, the, the sooner the diagnosis is established, the sooner effective treatment is implemented, the better for the patient. So the treatment is focused on suppressing the immune system, stopping it from overreacting, and we try to do this with medicines uh, that um, are very effective at doing this, but the downside of this treatment is that if you suppress the immune system too much, uh, the patient is at risk for infections that in turn can cause significant problems. So the management of uh, patients with vasculitis really focuses on finding the right treatment that is just enough to suppress the immune system to put the patient in remission and keep him in remission, mm -hmm. and yet not too much to put the patient at risk for, for bad infections or other treatment complications. Well, there, there is unfortunately no cure for vasculitis because it's a chronically relapsing autoimmune condition in general, and therefore uh, we can patient, put patients into remission and very often in complete remission, but patients will need ongoing follow-up um, once the diagnosis has been established and uh, they may need to be treated for relapses down the road. The vasculitides and uh, their specific syndromes are all conditions that require long-term multidisciplinary work and uh, expertise from experts and patients are really best served if uh, a um, teamwork can be established between their local primary physician and uh, the specialist who can serve as a, a quarterback directing the care 
uh, and depending on how well the patient is, uh, is doing, um, this direction can be more at a distance with less frequent visits versus if the patient is acutely ill, the uh, specialist will be more involved. But ultimately, the patient is really best served if a, a teamwork approach between the patient, the primary, uh, and referring physician and the subspecialists at, at Mayo Clinic can be established. And certainly a uh, well-organized multidisciplinary approach for these disorders uh, makes it much easier for patients to obtain um, optimal care in an efficient manner. We're heavily engaged in research uh, in, in the vasculitides. Uh, we have uh, spearheaded and participated in uh, several multi-center multi clinical trials. Um, exploring the efficacy and safety of new drugs, comparing it to standard treatments. We have uh, several projects going on in the background uh, that are more laboratory-based, uh, basic research that hopefully down the road will translate into uh, better diagnosis and possibly uh, better individual uh, identification of patients who respond to certain type of treatments and not so well to others and vice versa.